Hey guys, K3 Cell here, back at you with day two of Peach to Beaches. Let's get started with the first sale that provides a little bit of profit. A lot better today than it was yesterday. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Always bad now. <laughs> you just look, honey, if you see something, you know. All right. Were you busy yesterday too, or not? More busier yesterday, but then yeah. we got the garage and everybody was out of the rain. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Out in the yeah. Like I said, this is day two of Peaches to Beaches. I look for the plush here. I don't actually buy any plush out of this box. You can kind of see them. <laughs> but yeah, day two of Peaches to Beaches was a lot of fun. It was not rainy, which was, you know, the worst part of the first day, like that lady was saying, you know, she got a lot of business, I guess, because everybody was there for coverage because she had a garage. <laughs> this one is way off the beaten path. I don't know if I should have gone to this one or not. Uh, would y'all like usually the off the beaten path ones can be the good ones, but I drove in like probably four miles out of the way because you know this is based on I remember the name of the road now, but it was a, some random road going you know from Georgia to the you know from upper Georgia like Barnesville down to you know the basically the coast. I don't remember the name of the city, cities exactly, but you know it's off the beaten path. You just follow the signs until you get there. I'm sure on day one this probably would have been a little bit better. I'm not seeing anything that great. The Georgia stuff might have been worth picking up. It's toddler size, though, and some that usually toddler size is not easy to sell. So that's why I didn't pick up the toddler stuff. Also see a decent amount of shoes there. I don't even think I'll look at those now that I'm looking back at the footage. I do debate the little car right there, 75. I'm not sure who the driver was, but yeah. I think I have a little bit of interaction with the lady right here asking about something. How much is the car? $2. As y'all heard there, she said $2 for the car. I do pass on it because look at the condition of it. Also, look at this screenshot. There's one listed for like 20 bucks in brand new condition, and that one's obviously not in brand new condition. So I do pass on the NASCAR 124 scale car there. I just, I couldn't pay that $2 knowing. I mean, I do, NASCAR's like my kryptonite with buying stuff. I love the old cars. I have a ton of them at my house um, from way back in the day. I haven't bought any recently or anything, but if I ever, ever come upon a big NASCAR buy at a garage sale, I might be in trouble because I'd probably try and buy them all. What about the stuffed animals? 50 cents each. Okay. As you heard there, 50 cents each for those two little guys. I do pick them up. Beanie Boos. I usually like to lot them together. Those are both, I don't know if they're woodland creatures or not. The raccoon is definitely, so I can lot them up with some other raccoons and plush that I have. The little tiger or whatever that guy was, uh, I think I could sell him probably individually for 10 to 15. He does still have the tags. I don't think I can call him new unless the eyes are like pristine condition. I still probably wouldn't call him new, but I do look at bowling balls as well. Didn't pick any up here. I do actually pick one up. I think in this video, I do pick one up, but I'd pass on the bowling balls at this sale because they weigh a lot and unless it's a very unique brand or bowling ball like you saw Kayla pick one up one time for she sold it for like 150 to 200 bucks but that one is a really cool pattern that one is just those are just basic bowling balls so I do pass on the bowling balls they all the same sir all the same one? All right. How'd you get so many? Hello? How'd you get so many of them? No. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. Um, I'm not sure how I got from them. Yeah. How much were you asking? Sir? How much were you asking for them? Dollar two. All right, what if I got the whole trash bag? The whole bag? Seventy-five How much does that make it? Sir? How many are in there? Do you know? I ain't got oh. five <laughs> a bunch. As y'all heard there, 
there's a bunch. So here I go, starting to count them, and I was gonna debate if I wanted to show it the whole time, but I think I do eventually cut this clip to whenever we actually have them all laid out. So um, I'm counting them out right now in groups of five. I think there winds up being like 53 of them. He actually does eventually start helping me count them as well. Thirty-seven point five. Thirty-seven sure. point five is fifty times point seven five. That'd be good. <laughs> you get changed for forty. Uh. Or I can do twenty. I can do thirty-seven if you'd rather just do that. Then I have to make change. <laughs> or no, that's not. I need a ten. There, that would be thirty-five, six, seven. Be right on the money. I don't have two quarters. Sorry? I don't have two quarters. You don't have two quarters? Not on me. I can get it out of the car oh, real quick. Just work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, then, you know, I have those, uh, what, three or four in my thing? Give me a good deal. Now I gotta see if they'll fit in the car. <laughs> Probably should have thought that, should have thought about that before buying them. But. I wasn't expecting to find this many of them, were you? Definitely not. <laughs> not this late in the day, at least. No, but I consider late in the day. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I'll finish later. I thought the bottom. Okay, I, I, I did too. I was like, I was like, oh boy, we spent all that effort. Thank you. So as y'all saw in that clip. Super Y is what that was. <laughs> Super Y is a PBS kids show. Um, it's from 2009 is when this one was. It's from by the company Learning Curve um, and PBS Kids. But whenever I looked these up, there was none list. There was none that used the barcode at least. So then I typed in Super Y Fire Vehicles Alpha Pig, <laughs> and they popped up. So far, I've only sold one of these, <laughs> which isn't great considering that Peaches to Beaches was probably like a month ago almost. Uh, mine did sell for like 75 plus shipping, I think. I'll throw the one screenshot up right here of the one it's sold so far. But I do have 52 of these left. <laughs> so I paid $37 for all 53 of them. And just selling one paid for all of them. So at this point, it's free money. So overall, I'm probably going to make at least $2,500 on those. Closer to $3,000 probably once all is said and done. I'll take that for a $37 investment. Definitely my best find of Peaches to Beaches. And I'm glad y'all were able to actually see it on the GoPro. So y'all saw me like kind of negotiate, not really negotiate, I didn't really need to negotiate. I was just asking, whenever I, he said a dollar each, I was like, what if I buy the whole bag? I was just hoping for him to give me like, say $40, you know? But then he's like, oh, 50, 75 cents each, let's count them out. So I went and counted each one out, all 50 of them, <laughs> or 54, there's 50, we counted out 50 and he said, leave the rest in the bag. So I got, like I said, 53 for $37. Super Y, really good. Uh, only problem with that, Right now is somebody else came and listed them listed them for like 60 bucks you know 55 plus shipping so i need to lower the price on mine or just wait them out because i did sell one at 70 and there's past history of them selling for 70 so i doubt anyone else, anyone else has as many as i do but yeah let's move on to the next clip from peaches to beaches day two this is the next sale where it was basically fill a bag of toys for like a dollar i think if you can see that sign 25 cents or fill a bag for a dollar i do have some power ranger toys there that i'm picking up and then I'm about to ask her what counts as a toy. Can I fit stuffed animals in there or not? But yeah, let's cut to the interaction between me and her asking if I can include stuffed animals as toys. Do the stuffed animals count as toys? Are they part of the bag full for a dollar? Or... Yeah. All right. Where's what bag? <laughs> <laughs> I got all these Power Rangers. <laughs> Get a little bit more, I guess, <laughs> to 
get my fill bag worth. So I got looking for more stuff to fit in my fill bag. Obviously, golf clubs wouldn't count. I think those are like two dollars each, probably, or something. I didn't see any brands that I recognized when I looked through them. I keep looking through the plush. I do find one or two in here, I think, to complete my bag. One of them was like a TY Pluffy, which was a decent one. The only problem is it smells. Like everything in this bag smelled, I don't know, I can't describe what smell it was, but it smelled like a storage unit I got recently where it smells like, I don't know if it was somebody that smoked or what, but I actually just got done smo uh, smoking. <laughs> I actually just got done soaking all of those Power Ranger toys in like dish soap and water and trying to get the gunky smell and some of the gunk off of them so i actually did a decent job they don't smell nearly as bad as they did before so luckily i did get some of that smell off i'll show those in a second uh show all the power ranger stuff that i got and i i don't remember if i show the plush that i got here or not or if it show me sh sifting through the plush I do, that's the one i pick up right there <laughs> he's worth probably 20 to 30 dollars if i can find a way to clean him and it's gonna have to be a surface clean on him i think Actually, it might have said wash machine washable. I'll have to look and make sure before I actually machine wash them. But usually with plush like that, uh, you don't put them in the dryer. That's an Elvis plush. I did put, pick that up as well. Unfortunately, it's missing one or two pieces, and the value wasn't really that great. So I'm probably just going to wind up throwing them away. But, you know, it's a bag full of toys for a dollar. So it's hard to pass on stuff like that. You never know what the value is. I think this was in an area where I did not get any reception at all, you know, so-called dead zone <laughs> sometimes you have that with the route yard sales and you just have to you know whenever it's only a dollar it's really not that big of a deal but if you're spending a lot of money on it uh as paul said in his recent vlog <laughs> so yes paul i am stealing that from you uh you have to evaluate whether you think it's worth selling you know picking up or not if it's forty dollars it's a way riskier pickup than for you know less than five dollars so yeah that's it for this sale i do pick up those items Here's a dollar for a bag. Thank y'all. So I'm not cutting in for every sale whenever I'm doing this Peaches to Beaches, but I am cutting in to show y'all the Power Rangers. Uh, some really cool Power Ranger stuff, the blue and red bicycle slash tricycles. I think these are both Power Rangers. I think <laughs> they might not be, but uh, they look like Power Rangers to me. You're not gonna be able to see them too well. Well, you can kind of see them, I think. It doesn't always show up the same way it does whenever I'm filming than it does whenever you actually see it. Uh, I think these, this is like a McDonald's toy, I think. So these probably aren't worth too much, uh, but they are vintage, I think. Pretty sure they're vintage. Let's see, 19, doesn't see, but I th think they are. And then the best uh, best ones are gonna be like these figures like this, uh, Blue Ranger, Pink Ranger. I think I looked one of these up and they were selling for like 15 or 20, so that makes my dollar back right there, obviously. The Blue Ranger, none of them, they don't come with any weapons or anything. Like I said, I did. I did clean them up, did get some of the smell off of them. <laughs> they still do have a little bit of an odor to them, but uh, all this goes out in the listing that they do have a smell and they do need to be cleaned some more. Um, I did my best. <laughs> I'm sure there's other methods I could use probably, but I'll sell them. I'll sell them one big lot probably, at least some of them. <laughs> and then this little one's also a McDonald's toy, I believe it's like a T-Rex. I think it's Power Rangers. I'm not positive though, but it is McDonald's. And then this little thing's definitely Power Rangers. It's a die-cast car. It's from 2003, so it is vintage now, <laughs> based on vintage being 20 years old. So yeah, that's it for that sale. For a dollar, it's hard to pass up action figures and toys like that. This is an area that actually had cell reception, so I was able to look up stuff. That is an NES Remix pack. They were asking $15 for it, unfortunately. As y'all might have seen in a recent video, I sold that for $25 plus shipping from a Wii U lot that I got within the last week or two. Video games sell super fast, by the way. <laughs> but I don't pick that one up for $15. I might have made $5. Hey, you can see me in the reflection. <laughs> you can see me while you see the items. Kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> they should be an invention like that. It's called a cell phone camera. I do scan this item. I don't know what they were asking for it, but you might not. I don't know if you can get them to be able to see the comps very well. Um, there's one listed and like a lot sold. I think they were asking way too much for this, like almost a hundred dollars. They valued this and it obviously it did have some value to it. And you can see right there, like over a hundred dollars for some of those solds. I think those were new though. And this one was used. So I do pa pass on that. They had a decent amount of Harry Potter stuff and it was some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I don't, I think I actually tried to look this one up and then I don't see a barcode. So I just don't even try based on the prices they had. I don't think they had them on the actual items, but she said at one point before I started filming that, 
they were not cheap. <laughs> so I do pass on those, unfortunately. You can see me again. <laughs> um, I This garage sale was a decently big one. They had a decent amount of stuff. Like I said earlier, this was day two. It was sunny. It was bright. Everything was great. <laughs> I wish it had just been like this on the first day as well. Cause, and the first day, like I said uh, on part one, go watch part one if you haven't seen it yet. There was a bunch of stuff, and I should not have gone south. I should have gone north the first day because i think i would have found a lot more if i'd stayed in perry or gone north because i think that's where a lot of stuff was of course this item that i found the super y that you just saw that was north as well <laughs> and that was my best item that i found this item was also really good it's balloon lagoon i think from cranium the brand i think it's what cranium game is new and sealed in the packaging which for me means it's automatically going to get scanned on amazon i think it was selling for around like 90 dollars on amazon they were asking 20 for it, I believe. Uh, so that will go in FBA and um, good profit of probably $60 there, 50 or 60 bucks. Not too bad for one item. And uh, yeah, I always love selling stuff on Amazon. If I can find it new in the packaging and I don't have to look up all the pieces and parts for it, I'll sell it on Amazon. Yeah. Let me take some of this stuff and let's hold it over here for you. Uh, sure. <laughs> well, you don't have to keep walking around. <laughs> With your hands full and not be able to pick nothing else up. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. I do look up a couple more items. This jumper cable set thingy. I don't, I'm not sure. I guess it's a jumper for your car if your battery dies, whatever. I looked it up on Amazon again, and I don't think it pulled up anything. And they were asking, I don't know what that was exactly, eight to ten bucks. I do look at the cameras as well. I always look up digital cameras if I can. This one, these were a little bit harder to look up. Um, well, not look up, but decide if I wanted to buy because. You can't test them, and there's no camera cord to charge them with and test them. So I do look this one up. I'm look, right now. I'm looking at the model number on it, which you kind of didn't see on. You couldn't see it because it was off screen. But uh, I do look at the model number on this. I think it was only five bucks. So I was like, well, if it sells for twenty five to thirty bucks, um, then I will take a chance on it and try and sell it that way. So I do look up the model number and the type of camera, and as you can see right here, or you can kind of see right here. <laughs> I think there was like uh, twenty listed in like 26 sold so good selfie rate for sure and based on that it's around 25 to 30 dollars somewhere in that range so i do pick up that camera and that's my last item i think i picked up at this yard sale but yeah i'm gonna continue looking as well trying to get the camera latched back <laughs> battery oh nope <laughs> i'll get it eventually there we go so i continue to look um uh, don't even look at that usually baking stuff like that is not worth it unless you can find some Really nice brand like La Crusade or Cutco or you know something like that. Do look at that as well. Racing wheel, not worth it. Even if it's new in the packaging, usually those racing wheels aren't worth the money. Even for a dollar, which I don't know what they were asking, but usually even at a dollar, those aren't worth it. So that's it for this sale, I think. I might have some interaction at the end of me paying, but that's it for the fines for this sale. I think I'm ready. All right. Thirty dollars each. That should work. You got change? Yes. I got forty. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you. should say I want the money. <laughs> It doesn't matter when it all goes to the same place at the end of the day. So thank, thank you. you Thanks. Here's the next sale where I look at some dolls, like some Snow White doll, Cinderella doll, and a couple other ones. I am looking them up right now. <laughs> I should probably uh, use the. I don't think the barcode is working, which is why I looked them up like this. Um, I think there was like 100 something listed, as you saw there, 132 maybe listed. And I think there was like. 40 or so sold so it wasn't the best selfie rate i think i do wind up buying one of these dolls uh this lady was really nice and i think the dolls were like five bucks each i probably shouldn't have bought them i might just give it to my niece uh anytime you see disney like this you think oh it's gonna be really good it's new in the packaging but not this time have you ever actually done the yard sale like going to the yard sale or you usually just sell uh, stuff i've always had to get rid of stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is he doing? He's out looking. Let's shopping. see, where's, oh, is he shopping? <laughs> In the pack. I told him I said, don't worry about that. 
Yeah. Reverse. <laughs> trying to get rid of stuff. There you go. You have change for a 20 if I buy that one. Ooh. In Louisiana, I'll buy storage units sometimes. Well, <laughs> it's I used what to what I get do out that of those. here. Really? And it was, yeah, it was really good. <laughs> it's 15. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I used to do that here when my daughter was yeah. two or three. That was a long time ago. You never know what you're going to find. That's a, what's so fun. Of course, exactly. and then you find all it trash. Like so Christmas opening up boxes. Yeah. Yeah, Until it's just like all kitchen stuff and then not worth anything. You're like, yeah, no. <laughs> now I gotta find a place to either donate this to or throw it away at it. <laughs> yeah, well, luckily we have, I mean, besides all the Goodwills and everything, yeah. we also have a hospice that has. Um, they take in stuff like that. Yeah. So I, last year I took five trailers. Wow. <laughs> just to get, get rid yeah. of stuff. And then it's like, man, I don't wish I had that bad. <laughs> Well, thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> this will be the last sale for Peaches to Beaches, day two. I do pick up Tinkerbell and the carbon monoxide. I'm not sure what happened to the carbon monoxide uh, thing, but I do pick up Tinkerbell. She's selling for anywhere from $15 to $25. just depends on the time of the year. I'm sure at Christmas, she'll probably sell super fast. I do have her listed for, I think, 20 right now. I think it's what I have her listed for. Um, I keep looking around the sale. The stuff didn't have prices, which is always... You know interesting because you never know what they're gonna ask they do ask a little too much for my uh what i wanted to pay but they do actually come back and negotiate a little bit so i'm gonna show that interaction in a second but i keep looking at this stuff i don't really see anything did, it, did have some elvis stuff there as well uh, i do have a little bit of fun joking with them about the elvis stuff so uh let's cut to that interaction where i talk about the elvis stuff Ooh, free chocolate free chocolate <laughs> with purchase yeah <laughs> no, I, wouldn't I wouldn't eat, eat that it's never it's just never <laughs> been open so nice. i'm sure it's still good right yeah <laughs> nah just like that one too <laughs> mixed nuts are good <laughs> chocolate mi chocolate might be discolored but the nuts are probably still good i didn't see a price on either one of these okay let me find out for you okay I'm trying to give it to them. Let's do five. For both? For both? No. For both. Who is that? Tinkerbell? Tinkerbell. How much is on it? Nothing. Oh. So what do you offer? I said five for this, and then he said five for both, and I said... Oh, I know. Uh, you said five for that? Well, that's yours, so I'm going to add... What do you think on that? You know them better than me. She's a chorky, chihuahua yorky mix. How about eight for both? Uh, I'll pass, thanks, like so. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and you didn't want any Elvis chocolate? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> if you try one, I'll buy it. <laughs> so you get talking about getting sick, that'll make you get yes, sick. <laughs> hey. I'm very interested in the other dog. <laughs> and that concludes Peaches to Beaches Day 2. Thanks for coming along. The Super Y figures. Yeah, you ever see Super Y? Pick it up.